Of all the 50 governors in the United States, she was sitting at the desk as one of the most powerful, and she wasn't afraid to use those powers. Greta, not every political story here in Iowa involves presidential candidates. Of course, the president in Davenport today, Michelle Bachman in Waterloo yesterday. But tonight we are in Pella, Iowa at the Pella Opera House built in 1900, where Governor Sarah Palin and her husband Todd turned out for the premiere of the movie The Undefeated, a movie about the life of Sarah Palin and her rise in politics. Hey, how are you, girl? How are you doing? Good. Welcome to Pella. What do you think of the reception you're getting here in uh, Pella, Iowa? It's so warm, literally, and uh, yeah, otherwise. It's so nice, the gift of hospitality that Pella has, and all of Iowa has is wonderful. I'm glad that people want to be here to share this this um, documentary on the record of a, a great team that worked very hard for energy security and ethics reform in the state of Alaska. You know, I spoke to a veteran outside earlier, had a Sarah Palin shirt, and he told me he knew Need you to get into this presidential race to run for the country. We answer his uh, request. Oh, well, I appreciate his request and I appreciate his encouragement. And I know exactly what he's talking about. He's talking about someone who really can encapsulate American values and the understanding um, of the need to protect our Constitution for people like our veterans and appreciation that we have for them. And um, you know, it's a it's a tough decision. It's a big decision to decide whether to run for office or not, and I'm still contemplating. But um, uh, you know, I can't say enough about a veteran and somebody who, who poses a question like that coming from a veteran. That's uh, well. I think he told the news that your daughter Bristol said that you made a decision. Can you tell us what that is? You know what? I texted Bristol. I said, "Honey, what did you say this morning on uh, some news program?" And she said. Oh, mom, you got to watch the interview. You know how they take everything out of context. I said, you remember, Bristol, what we talk about on the fishing boat stays on the fishing boat. I don't know what she said. She said, I have to watch it myself. So I don't know what she said, but um, uh, no, still thinking about she it. She says you definitely have made a decision. <laughs> well, I am uh, still thinking about the decision and, uh, you know, a lot goes into such a, a life changing, a relatively uh, earth shattering type of decision. And um, still thinking about it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris. Sarah had courage to try. She had taken on the system already. She was right, and the public knew that she was right, and had the courage to take it on before that became evident, I think, was what propelled her forward. Steve Bannon is the director of The Undefeated. Steve, your world premiere is here in Pella, Iowa. Why at, Pella? At the historic Pella Opera House in, uh, in Pella, Iowa. We looked at over 100 locations in Iowa to have something that was completely appropriate to the values of the undefeated, which are kind of this, the tenacity, grit, fortitude of the American frontier. And it's, it's been restored to its original beauty and dignity, and so it just, it fits naturally with the, uh, the film. And so far, the townspeople have just been great, so it's been a fantastic experience. This film opens in July. Why should Americans see it? What is it about? Well, you know, AMC Theaters, is putting in theaters, says this film transcends politics. I mean, it is about Sarah Palin, but it's about much more than that. It's about how someone in the modern world who's totally obscure, how someone kind of, you know, rises and, and, and confronts the modern world and how they make change in the modern world. So I think people, it's an inspirational film, first off, for, for, for young people and for parents to take them because you're going to see someone who doesn't have a rich father, who doesn't have a wealthy husband. She's married to a blue-collar guy when this film starts. She's working on a commercial fishing boat, which she co-owns. And you see her, her struggles and her achievements at every level of life at, in Wasilla and as governor of Alaska and then later with the Tea Party. So it's a, I think it's a very inspirational film, and I think that's why guys in Hollywood are putting it out in theaters throughout the country.